fun now. It's the right plant for the right space from Ohio Tropics. Welcome, Rafael Delalo. Thank you. It's a good thing none of these are edible or she'd be over here eating them, right? <laughs> That's she's, right. She's eating everything in sight today. What a day it is. <laughs> hey, so I see some beautiful plants here, plants yeah. I have in my home. They don't last that long in my home because I'm not doing something right. Okay. So you know about this, <laughs> we right? We can talk about that. I sure do. Okay, let's start over here with these, these orchids we're looking at. Yeah, so this is a Phalaenopsis or, or moth orchid. It's one of the most common orchids that, that you can see. One of the easiest ones to grow. So I highly, highly recommend these for the beginning grower, and they actually are easy to grow. Mm -hmm. I'm not a beginning grower, but I can kill them with the best of them. And, you, know, <laughs> you read about watering them with ice cubes, uh, you water them once a week, all, all different directions. And the more you love them, it seems like the more you kill them. And, and really, that's not the way to go. You want to avoid the ice cubes. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is you, you actually want to feel, feel the potting medium. And if, you know, as long as it's dry a little bit on top, then you can water again. You don't mm -hmm. want to necessarily stick with the schedule. And so a lot has to do with the humidity. Uh, sometimes, but yeah. mainly the watering is more <laughs> important. So you want to actually use your, use your finger and feel the top, the surface of the soil or the potting medium. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's moss. This one looks like it's easy to take care of. So these are both Sansevieria or snake plants, and these are super, super easy to grow. The one thing I'd like to m uh, mention to everyone watching here is a lot of times these are labeled as low light plants, mm -hmm. but in fact, it doesn't mean that they need low light. It means that they can, they can tolerate it, but yeah. these actually like quite a bit of sunshine, actually, so keep that, keep that in mind. I've seen these outdoors in Los Angeles and that area. They use it for trim in some places. These will grow really well out there, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, what do we have on the table? So on this table here, this is another variety of orchid. This is a Paphiopetalum or lady slipper orchid. And another lower light orchid that's just as easy to grow as the Phalaenopsis. And this one just rebloomed for me, so I was happy the timing worked. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, so low, orchids are pretty low light though, aren't they? Some of them. So these, these will tolerate, I grow these in eastern windows, so they'll get a little bit of the, after, uh, I'm sorry, not mm -hmm. afternoon, morning sun. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of varieties that need a lot more direct sun, but these are some of the lower light orchids. Your house must look crazy. You must have plants everywhere, huh? I have a ton. I have oh, a ton. <laughs> look, look what's going on there. So there we go. what kind of room is that? We got a lot of light in that room, so huh? So that's my that's my sunroom. So it has a whole wall. Uh, the the wall to the left is a northern window. The one to the right is an eastern window that gets a lot of morning sun. So mm -hmm. there's also a skylight. So quite a bit of light, which is very very important. So I like plants. I like to keep them healthy. Would you come to my house? Can you come to my house? Do you go to people's homes to help them sort it out? Absolutely. So I do consultations. I do them by Skype regardless where you are and I also I also do in-home consultations yeah. as well. So you get some books too? I do. I self-published a couple of books. One is Moth Orchid Mastery. I distilled it down to all the essentials, make it very easy to understand. Um, and then a Essential Houseplant Mastery is more of a general mm -hmm. houseplant care book as That's well. That's fantastic. Okay, now, what is this? Is this a Thanksgiving plant? Thanksgiving Christmas cactus. Christmas plant, or what is this? Thanksgiving cactus. Sometimes you'll see it uh, labeled as a Christmas cactus, or they're related. So this one you but can see is huh? about to bloom. They're, they're different, but they're very similar. Mm -hmm. So There's a little tiny bloom there. Yeah, tiny bud. So they're named Thanksgiving cactus, as you can imagine, because they bloom around that time of year. Right. Uh, Christmas cactus will bloom a little bit later. I love these little tiny plants you can put around the house yeah. that are easy to take care of, right? Yeah, th this is a type of succulent. So although these are tough, they do need a lot of sunlight. So don't shove the plant in a dark corner. Mm -hmm. Light is how plants make food. Right. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. They so can only take so much abuse. This looks, <laughs> looks like a bow you'd put on a, a package. So this is an air plant. This is a Tillandsia xerographica, which is one of the tougher air plants because you don't really have to water them too often. You could mist wow. them every so often. It can go weeks without, mm -hmm. without watering. And this is my favorite right here. It's put in a piece of what? Some kind of crazy root? Yeah, so this is a grapevine that I, I actually took some floral glue and glued these plant, air plants on there. So what I do to water these is I take it to the sink and use the, the spray attachment, water them. And the important part is to shake them upside down to, to release right. all the water that's stuck so that they don't rot. That's very important for I, airplanes. I see your website up there, ohiotropics.com. Is that how, how you get the books then also? So the books are available on Amazon if you want the paperback. I, I do have the e-books available on my website. Right. And on Amazon, you can get the paperbacks as well. I also have an audio book available for Moth Orchid Mastery. So Raphael can help you if you already have plants. And if you're thinking about putting a whole bunch of plants in a plant room or something like that, I think you'd be a must call. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks a <laughs> lot, man. Thank you so much. Great stuff. Thanks Love for it. having me. Okay.